I could make an even easier presentation for, of myself. I'm George and I'm from Georgia, so it's very, very easy to remember. Uh, first of all, I'm very pleased to be here with you, with this beautiful audience. And um, uh, for me, it's uh, both privilege and honor to have opportunity to participate in Berlin Economic Forum. Uh, as you are all well aware, tourism is one of the world's largest industries, contributing trillions of dollars annually to the global economy, creating jobs and wealth, generating export, and boosting taxes and sim simulating capital investments. Within the past few years, Georgia as a country and its tourism industry has experienced a tremendous growth. In 2012, uh, the number of international arrivals to the country increased by a uh, uh, staggering 57%, which is really high. And in 2013, with an increase of 22%, according to UNWTO, it was the highest rate in the Europe. The number of arrivals in Georgia exceeded 5 million people, and if you compare the uh, number of the um, Georgians who live in Georgia, it's like 4.5 million, so we received more international um, guests than uh, people live in Georgia itself. Uh, as a country, Georgia, uh, government of Georgia considers tourism as an important part of economic development and the contribution to the Georgian GDP is 6.5% from the tourism industry. Um, looking at the 2013 data of Georgia, international receipts from the tourism uh, was 1.7 billion US dollars. Uh, however, uh, each year the tourist market becomes more and more competitive and diverse. Uh, this dynamic nature of tourism and shifting travel patterns create an environment where building partnerships and cooperation is more vital than ever. Uh, cultural component is very important also. And as a good friend of mine, Tali Brifa is used to say, who is the president of the UNWTO, the culture is a book and the tourist is a publisher of this book and delivering it to worldwide audience. Uh, there is a focal point to come out of the consultations has been importance of orienting of higher quality, higher spending tourists. We will uh, do more efforts to get this kind of tourists to Georgia. Even though we receive more visitors than a population of the country, the average spending per visitor is still remains quite low. Thus, the further development of infrastructure and tourism product, also diversification of the target markets, we intend to increase the tourist contribution to the economy. One major aspect is in this regard, and in essence, the main competitive edge for Georgia will be emphasizing the country's uniqueness and authenticity as a tourism destination. An experience-based tourism becomes more and more popular, and destinations such as Georgia, which combine amenities of modern life with rich history, traditions, and unique culture will be highly demanded. However, before the time, we have to focus our efforts on the further developing niche tourism uh, offerings such as wine, adventure, ecotourism, mice tourism, just to name a few. Here with, we can talk about development of the tourism without mentioning the issue of sustainability, protection of the environment, and the preservation of the natural resources are some of the most important considerations. In this regard, effective governmental policies alongside rising 
Local awareness are the key factors to, ref re uh, to ref reflect on. We have to note that the government still remains the key player for the development of the tourism in the Georgia and in any other country. Proactive reforms supporting development of the lib liberal economy and easing visa policies are just some of the major tools at the disposal of any state. I am proud to say that according to the World Bank 2014 rating, Georgia ranks 15th in the world by easy of doing business. Furthermore, referring to the Heritage Foundation ratings, the country holds 22nd position in the Index of Economic Freedom. As mentioned before, we can't discuss the development of the tourism without touching upon the issue of the visas. Policymakers around the world have laid the foundation of the new era of more liberal, liberal visa regimes. This trend has contributed to growth of the visitors to the various destinations worldwide, as well as overall increase in the numbers of travelers through the world. Maintaining the visa-free regime with more than 90 countries uh, and recently launching Georgia by, by us, the electronic visa uh, portal is very important. Georgia has privileged in, the regard, in this regard as well. Alongside focusing on international markets, it's important to simulate the domestic tourism uh, market as well, especially during the period of economic recession. Overall domestic tourism accounts for 10 times uh, more visitors than international arrivals. Around 70% of tourism direct contribution to the global GDP generated by the domestic travelers. Uh, with tourism being the multi-spectral uh, industry, the private sector plays an immensely important role in this development. We are trying to support the private sector in our efforts to Georgia become more uh, uh, Georgia has, to, has uh, to have more awareness in the worldwide markets. And now, today, we are participating in ITB Berlin, and the, we have a lot of companies, local companies, we are uh, sponsoring to uh, participate on the stand with us. The process of cultivating the strong private sector involves empowering domestic and international business, creating a favorable investment climate, and supporting cooperation between enterprise and with associations. One of the initiatives launched by the government of Georgia to attract more investments has been established the free tourism zones. These are spe special zones located on the seaside resorts in Georgia. Free tourist zones attract investors by offering several incentives, include land for nominal price, free hotel master plan, no profit, and property tax for 15 years. Uh, no matter how we put it, tourism is a business and a country is our product. And similar to any other product, we have to market and sell to our potential customers. In this regard, creating a strong brand image and marketing campaign is important, not only for the country, but for the visitors' experience as well. With branding and marketing of any destination, you have to represent an authentic factors and characteristics of the country. This is important because visitors need to experience something new and something very extraordinary. Here is in today's interconnected world, creating creative marketing campaigns and innovative promotional activities gain more recognition than any other form of adver advertisement. I believe one of the best examples of this was Ice Bucket Challenge, which reached almost every corner of the earth literally with only word of mouth and social media campaigns. Um, 
I wish to end this presentation with my sincere invitation for you to visit Georgia, the beautiful country, and once again express my gratitude for this opportunity uh, and for hosting me here in beautiful country, beautiful city Berlin. Wish you all success in your important in endeavors. And thank you. If you have any questions, please. Yeah, George, thank you so much. I think we all um, got a great insight into Georgia there and its um, burgeoning tourism sector. I'd like to open the floor to questions. Does anyone want to? Yes. Um, I'm John Baptist. Uh, thank you very much for the presentation. I just wanted to uh, um, to know what the situation, what what is, what is the political situation like in Georgia now, and especially uh, our memories about Georgia go back to the you know to the the moments of Nagorno Karabakh and so on. So uh, does that affect somehow? How does that work with the with the with the tourist thing? Uh, is, it, is everything okay now? What is the situation? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, the uh, factor that you are mentioning is not really connected with Georgia. Nagorno-Karabakh is between uh, the problem still exists, but it between Armenia and Azerbaijan. So, in Georgia, life is good. <laughs> we are hosting two big events, uh, sport events this year. Which one? Uh, first one is the uh, Youth Olympic, European Youth Olympi Olympics. Three thousand participants and more than fifteen thousand. Uh, international visitors will come for this big event. And another big event is the UEFA uh, Cup, Super Cup, which also will be hosted by Georgia. And we have also big EBRD conference there. So we, uh, on the political part, we have very stable and uh, good situation. I have a, a brief, no, a brief question. So you, you've talked a lot about how um, sort of the importance of tourism for economic development. But could you maybe give us a further insight in what exactly does Georgia have to offer? Say, I want to come and visit. Mm -hmm. What what sort of things do you have? Like, is it winter sports? Do you have beaches? Yeah, yeah. we have Everything. All, all of that. Yeah, uh, we have a beautiful coastline on the Black Sea where you have uh, beaches and uh, good hotels. For example, in June, we are opening a huge Hilton Hotel. Uh, to, and uh, there, there already exist Redison, Sheraton, and other hotels. Uh, we have three ski resorts, yeah, uh, different ones, starting from the uh, family family resorts and ending up with the sport, sport active resorts. Um, uh, we have UNESCO World Heritage Sites, we have a big history, and uh, we have many things to offer, complemented, of course, with our beautiful uh, cuisine and uh, very, ex uh, very uh, good wine, which are very proud to be, um, uh, and we are very proud to be the cradle of the wine, because Georgia has 8,000 years history of producing wine uh, in the world. And you just mentioned the Georgian cuisine. What, what's your national dish? Do you have a, a national dish? I don't have photos at the moment, but uh, um, I don't know if anybody uh, of you have been there or maybe here. Georgia is famous for its cuisine and people who come there. So one of the main attractions is there to uh, taste Georgian food. And Georgia, despite the fact that it's a very small country, it has very diverse cuisine, region after region, yes. And uh, even folk music and dancing is different from region after region. So we have quite many things and a lot of things to offer to the world. Super, yeah. One of my favorite things about traveling is getting to try all the new cuisines and everything. And Ireland's not renowned for its brilliant food, so I try to get as, <laughs> as many flavors as possible. But George, thanks again for your chat. It was really interesting, and um, hopefully we'll see you in Georgia. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>